Ciao a tutti, che tal todos? How is everybody? This right here is the International Phonetic Alphabet. You might be familiar with it already. If you're a student of language, or particularly if you're a student of languages, uh, you might find it useful to familiarize it with, to familiarize yourself with it. Now, I'm going to assume that you all know what it means, but either way, I'm going to. I, I've, I've received some questions and comments about the video I made about the sound system of Rio Platense Spanish. Well, not really the whole sound system, but some comments about some sounds, how they work, how they're pronounced, uh, what that tells you about the person who is speaking, etc. So, I thought I'd made a few. I thought I'd make a few videos about. Well, the sound systems of uh, Rio Platense Spanish and of English and compare them. I am an English teacher. I teach English as a second language and some uh, very uh, interesting things happen when you present people with a completely different sound system than what they're used to. So, I thought I'd make this video in English talking about the English sound system. Now, I can't really see what I'm recording right now because I've got the camera pointed at the screen. So I'm working blind, but I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll bear with me as we go through the sound system of American English or of what is uh, commonly called general general American which is basically what you can hear on many news broadcasts. Uh, it's uh, close to a Midwestern accent. Uh, either way, you'll see when I show when when I show you. Let's start with nasals. What are nasals? Let's talk about consonants. I'm not going to go into vowels in this video because that would take a bit longer. Let's go into consonants. All the consonant sounds in English. There's not that many. It's probably something like, I haven't counted, but it's more than 20, less than 30, give or take. Let's, let's start with nasals. You can see the nasals right here on the top. These are, uh, th this is the International Phonetic Alphabet, so it shows you all the sounds that can be pronounced by a human being. Well, all the consonant sounds, pulmonic consonants that are uh, articulated basically with air coming out of your mouth as opposed to click consonants etc which are found in some African languages uh, English of course only has pulmonic consonants what are nasals? nasals are consonants that are articulated in such a way that the air comes out your nose instead of your mouth and and when you have a cold Certain sounds sound very nasal because your nose is obstructed. So if you have a cold, you will sound like this. You could say house, and it sounds just fine, but if you say nose, it's going to sound very strange. So let's start with... Let, let me tell you a little bit about these uh, labels on the top. Bilabial sounds are articulated with both your lips. Like, mmm, that's the bilabial nasal. Lab labiodentals are articulated with your, with your uh, lower lip against your top teeth, like, that's the F sound. Dentals are articulated with the tongue against the teeth, like, think, like, th, the, th the sound in think. Alveolar sounds are articulated with your tongue against the hard part of your palate behind your teeth. Postal violars are articulated closer to the ridge of the palate. Retroflex consonants are articulated with your tongue curling backwards. Palatal sounds are articulated around the soft palate. Velar sounds are articulated with what's called the velum, the back of the palate. Uvular sounds, those are articulated with your uvula. 
uh, that's the little uh, thingy in the back of your mouth that if you touch it, you're going to get, well, you're going to get dry heaves. <laughs> Pharyngeal sounds are articulated with your pharynge. Epiglottal sounds. And finally, glottal sounds, which are articulated, which I guess epiglottal sounds are articulated between the, the pharynge and the glottis. And finally, glottal sounds, which are articulated with your glottis. Uh, so, let me explain this part right here. Nasal sounds, well, I explained that. Plosive sounds, these are sounds when, these are sounds that, uh, when you say them, you stop the flow of air, and then you release it, and it produces kind of an explosion, to, to, to put it in, in those terms. That's why they're called plosives. Fricatives are when the air is coming out, but it's creating friction. And approximant is when the tongue nears a part of the mouth, or the, or, 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 or the teeth, etc., but doesn't quite touch it. A trill is when uh, there's a strong vibration on the tongue. A tap or a flap is when your tongue touches a part of your mouth very lightly. And then there are lateral fricatives, which is a fricative, but the air comes out uh, the sides of your tongue. Uh, Lateral approximant, it's lateral, so the air comes out the sides of your mouth uh, through the, uh, it, it basically, your tongue is in the middle, so the air comes out the sides, uh, near the sides of your tongue. Lateral approximant, you don't actually, your tongue doesn't actually touch the sides, the sides of your mouth, but just the air comes through, so there's less friction. And finally, a lateral flap, which is your tongue touches the sides of your mouth very lightly. Now, I'm going to go into English now. I know what I've just said sounds kind of uh, uh, vague, unless you actually are familiar with it. But you're going to see when I show you the examples. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm using MS Paint right now. I'm going to take this thingy, right? And I'm going to draw a circle around the sounds that are that exist in, in English.